of my mouth. Yes, Lord. It's established by the word of your mouth. Because some people think it's only established by the preacher mouth. My Lord. No, no. But we got the priesthood of the believer. Yes, Lord. The priesthood of the believer says that as a believer and a receiver of the finished work of Jesus Christ, that I have access to God for myself. Yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. I have access to God for myself that I can decree a thing and it shall be done. I can declare a thing and it shall be established for me. And sometimes our life ain't no better because your mouth ain't no better. Sometimes our life ain't no better because you ain't believing for no better. You keep talking about how you want a good this and a good that. You want a good man and then the first person walk up to you with two teeth in his mouth. You thought, well, Lord, they might be my husband. I think I can fix it, love. <laughs> he even came down from his high yet, my God. Me. <laughs> he even came down there. Still got liquor on his breath. Well, God, you know. He might be an angel in the sky. What, from, from, from the north or the south? What, which direction this angel came from? From the north or the south, baby? We say we want better, but we keep settling for the same old, same old. Keep settling for the same old thing. Your life going to get better when you demand it get better. Uh-huh. That's it. Got to get to the place, baby, when you say enough is enough. So I've seen that same, that same person with a different face too many times. Okay. Uh-uh. You keep putting yourself in the same type of hands. Why keep winding up with the same type of people? Because you're a magnet for the same type of people. You got to strip your spirit of all that stuff. You got to go into the presence of God and decide, God, I'm going to be healed. They might have abused me. They might have used me. They might have molested me. They might have raped me. But God, I'm going to leave it in your presence. And I'm not going to take it all along my whole journey in life because it's going to weigh me down. I can't keep dragging all this pain. I can't keep dragging all this shame. I can't keep dragging all of this mind fighting. I can't keep dragging all of these battles. Sooner or later, I got to shake it off. Sooner or later, I got to get it up off me. Sooner or later, I got to learn how to leave it somewhere and leave it behind. Somebody say, keep moving. Keep moving. You got to learn how to keep moving. I'm going to leave you with this. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. 18 and 19, it said, Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of hold. Behold, says the Lord, I will do a new thing with you. I will do it right now. Somebody said, You ain't got the way. Somebody said, You ain't got to put it on layaway. You ain't got to put it on You ain't got to bounce no chicks. I will do it right now. It will spring forth. Come on, somebody say it will pop up. Shall you not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness. In other words, it don't matter how congested your life feels. It doesn't matter how barren your life feels. God will make a way where there is no way. He will make a way in the wilderness and he will make streams come alive and flow even in the desert. In other words, God don't care about how your condition started. God does not care about what your limitations are. If you will just trust him, then he will do what you can never do for yourself. If you will just trust him, he will blow your mind. If you will just trust him, he will give you a hope and a future. If you will just trust him, he'll give you beauty for ashes. If you'll just trust him, he'll give you all joy for your morning and your sadness. If you will trust Trust him, then God will give you a destiny that you have not yet thought of. Ephesians 4 23 say, Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Somebody say, My mind gotta change. My, mind gotta change. My way of thinking has gotta change. Yes. Sometimes we think because it even got better, then we got to rest right there. So, ain't no coasting, baby. Uh-uh. We're going to continue to progress. We're going to continue to grow. Come on, somebody. Because we don't arrive till we get out of here. Till we get out of here. We do not arrive. I love this. 
I love what God is going to tell somebody Happy New Year. Happy New Year. They were commanded to take a look back. They were commanded to remember the great things that God had done for them. They remembered how they survived the locusts. They remember how they survived the flies. They remember how they survived the frogs being rained down. They remember how they survived the hailstorms, the darkness, and the famine. They remember how they survived Pharaoh, his army, and his horsemen. They remembered how God had brought them through as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. They remembered all that God had done for them. They remembered when Moses had to stretch out his rod and the magicians were there and they worked the same miracle. But then God showed his power and the sin serpent swallowed the magician serpent. That God had to show his power over and over and over and over again. Their obedience to God was provoking a miracle from God. God, your obedience is what's going to provoke the greatest miracle from God in your life. Uh, they were setting themselves up and they didn't know it in the next chapter for a Red Sea experience. Uh, it was their exit. Their new year was their exit from the old and their entrance into the new. It was the exit of their old season and the birthing of their new season. Somebody say Happy New Year. Amen. This is 